hey guys welcome back to my channel um if you're stopping for the first time my name is blessing and if you're already a subscriber you all know i love you all so much thanks for coming back so i'm starting off with prepping my face and i first of all applied my face moisturizer from body Balance. i went in to apply my gave here some block and i followed um with a mortifying primer just to keep my makeup in place because if you're going to the party you know how the party is going to be like the hall might be really really hot and you don't want your makeup dripping off your face so if you want to be able to save some dollars for yourself or some pennies for yourself or you know you find yourself in a situation where you cannot access a makeup artist what do you do okay so i'm here to help you get your makeup and gilly done by yourself i mean do it yourself it's very simple okay so after moisturizing um priming and prepping my face i went in to do my brows you just have to follow your natural brows nothing more just highlight your natural brows and then i um i like mine to be as light and natural as possible so after that i went in to put um a concealer on my lid just to give my eyeshadow a base for what i'm going to apply so for eyeshadow i'm going to be using this one here is um not so um dramatic this is like a wine color so i'm going to be blending that softly into my crease and just making everything look seamless when you're doing your eyeshadow less is more you don't want to do something so heavy and then your eyes is looking so heavy and you end up looking funny okay so you want to go with neutral colors that kind of like match your skin tone okay not so so you know different from what you're wearing so you're going to be comparing what you're wearing your hair gear and everything and then just pick some of the colors not like some of the colors that are calm and then just do whatever you want to do on your eye basically so i went in with um a little bit of gold just to put on my lips to make my eye pop okay um after that i already did my lashes as you can see then i went in with a foundation i rem remember i already applied my mattifying primer so now i'm just blending everything to make everything look seamless because why not we want to have a flawless look okay so after that i'm going to just set the face so that i can blend in all the areas that i've highlighted then after doing that i'm going to contour because we want to snatch the face and bring out the structures you know what i'm saying <laughs> so um i'm going to just blend out blend in and up up motion make sure you're not doing too much don't put too much of dark colors in your face you don't want to look funny when you're going to the party okay so but you want to look beautiful and flawless i mean presentable classy okay that's the aim that's the goal so i'm just going to blend all the areas that i contoured and then after blending them i'm going to go back with my beauty blender to kind of like blend in the highlights and the contour and blend everything so that there are no harsh lines okay you're not seeing where the contour stopped or where the highlight stopped so you just you know an extra blending just to keep everything seamless so i went in again to use my translucent powder to set all the areas that i've highlighted on my face to kind of like soak up the oil and then to give me that flawless clean finish and the one that i use is from s Pond. after that i went in to set my contour again i use the darkest shades from the palette i showed you all right now so after contouring and setting after setting those areas now i'm going to go ahead and then use this eyeliner on my eye i do not like to make my eyes look really really dark but just to give it a little bit of pop i did a little bit of eyeliner on my eye then for blush you can do blush or you may not do blush depends on how you feel but i did something a little bit um just to give me some rosiness then i went in here with that same palette with my shade to kind of like blend everything this is like the final touch up i'm going to blend everything that i've done on my face you know so that it looks even okay after that i'm going to go ahead to line my lips and then i'm going to go in with a very sharp red you know <laughs> lipstick you know what i'm saying just to kind of like contrast everything and make everything look you know 
beautiful okay now when i had to set my face to keep all the makeup and take away all the powdery look away and then make sure to always set your face and allow it to dry before using your mascara you don't want to use mascara and then set your face you're going to smudge or mess up your mascara is going to mess up your face so i'm just putting a little bit of highlight on my nose and then on my cheek area i have a bit of swollen cheek so i do not like to bring that i don't like to make it pop okay because i don't want to show you all that i have swollen cheek <laughs> you know what i'm saying so now um i set my brows and i'm going to do another setting just give me that glowy look and this is what we have okay next up is our gilly so this gilly is very long so i had to bend it into two 50 50 and then i did some pleats before putting it on my head so what you're going to do is turn the other hand and then just make sure it is equal make sure the gilly is equal then i um you're just going to turn one side of it the one that is inside you're going to turn it to the other side um and one thing about this gala is you don't need to stress yourself too much the moment you turn it all the way to the other side you turn this one of the hand of the gala to the other side it just creates some pleats it might not be perfect but it just helps you create some pleats as you can see the moment i turned it some pleats were already there but i just have to try to arrange it so that it's not looking bulky and you know messy as a beginner you don't need to be perfect you just need to have something good and nice and you're good to go okay because trust me your hands can get <laughs> really hot and at the process so after getting some pleats i'm going to turn the other hand again you can see you already created some pleats for me already you don't need to do too much just um try to arrange the pleats that it already came with as you can see so i'm trying to just arrange the pleats so after arranging them i'm going to get the other hand and then tie both of them together i mean it's just as simple as that so after tying both of them i'm sorry i could not show you guys the back but then it just tying both hands uh, together so after tying them i'm going to now go further to try to arrange the you know the pleats so that they're not looking too scattered i mean if you have this one i mean this is what makeup artists charge you for some money so you save yourself some money and you're looking good so i'm just going to further go ahead to make it look i mean presentable taking some push it back a bit so that my forehead shows after pushing it back you might go ahead to use powder to use on the area where the gilly clean it up and voila okay this is the finished look this is me looking beautiful if you look like this to a gilly to a party who is going to know that you did not call a makeup artist i mean why <laughs> so thank you all for watching i'm going to see you all in my next video